Hello folks, my name is Raj Kapoor and I've been in the crypto blockchain space since the last 12 years. Development, architecture, everything and much more. And today we are talking about no-nonsense NFTs. NFTs, you may ask me, what are NFTs? Well, simply put, they are non-fungible tokens. So what does fungible mean? Let's understand that. The non part is clear, the tokens part is clear. What is fungible? I'll make it easy for you. Fungibility means exchanging equal value. An example, if I lend you 500 rupees, you can give it back to me as 500 rupee notes, one 500 rupee note, or 50 rupee notes, 20, 50 rupee notes, anything which is equivalent in value. If I buy a Bitcoin for say $30,000, that's how much I'm spending in Indian rupees. So that's equal money, that's fungibility. Non-fungibility or non-fungible means not having equivalent value and that can be for collectibles could be stamps for example if you have a stamp which has a value of 10 cents but in the market the value is say hundred dollars that's not fungible because it's not the stamp that you're paying for is the perceived value that you are paying for that is fungibility perception of what you could value somebody says oh a mona lisa is worth millions of dollars would you pay for it some people say, why the hell should I pay millions of dollars for a Mona Lisa? I'll go to the railway station and buy a poster from there for 100 rupees. That's your perception. If you want to own something original and you're ready to pay a price, that's where non-fungible tokens come in. These tokens prove the authenticity and the originality of the thing which is on sale or for collectible. That's a non-fungible token. But do you know one thing? This market has exploded over the last three or four years. When I say exploded, really exploded. Let me tell you some numbers. Last year alone, about $41 billion of crypto was spent on the NFTs. $41 billion? Buying what? Well, people bought crypto kitties. They brought bored apes. You must be wondering what are all these? These are all... You can make them on the digital art, digital characters, video game characters, gaming characters, which became collectibles. It became popular with what is known as the Crypto Kitties in 2017. And now it's become a phenomenon. I don't know whether you also know that there was an art called the Beeple. This guy, this artist called, digital artist called Beeple, he sold his collection of 500 days for $69 million dollars digital art trust me i'll tell you my own story in 2014 sachin tendulkar completed 100 test centuries and in, during that time coca-cola took out a commemorative coke can each can described his centuries one to hundred there were 100 such different cans i had no idea that there would be a fortune well i didn't collect them very honestly i had a friend of mine who did collect them and he had no idea of what an NFT or he just wanted to get rid of it because his wife was getting angry. They were occupying space. So you know what we did? We mounted them on a big platform, put it behind. I put it behind me and I said, let's try and sell it as an NFT. So he says, what is an NFT? Oh, it's just a collectible. Somebody would love to have all 100 cans of Tendulkar. I had four, maybe five, somebody else had six, 10, whatever. This guy had 100. That makes some value. And do you know how much we sold it for on the NFT platform? We sold it for about 37 lakh rupees. Now that is a big number. And that's where in India also, a lot of people started moving the NFT way. Today, India has hundreds of NFT platforms, NFT solutions, but really intriguing is the trading between that. You see, anything becomes valuable when they start moving trading. 700% plus between the last two quarters of 21. This year, there was a little drop because the crypto markets have dropped, but then that's again a blip. CryptoPunks is another big NFT, which has been really moving around. 20 biggest NFT sales have been on CryptoPunks. Go and have a look at CryptoPunks. You and I probably may not collect them, but they have some value for someone. They have. The, you know, basically the largest platform is a platform called the OpenSea where you can create your NFTs, upload them out there, open to the world. 
250,000 people trade on OpenSea. It's like the Amazon of collectibles. Like this, there are many more, and we'll discover all of them, NFTs, etc. Do you also know that in India and outside, more than 23%, more than 23% actually have NFTs. That's a lot of people, and most of them are millennials. So when we talk about NFTs, we talk about what they bring to us. They bring a new phenomena, and that's all on the blockchain. Because on blockchain, you can prove the provenance or the ownership of that particular collectible. And that's why they've become popular. Everything else is a copy. The value of the original comes to the forefront with NFTs. So we'll talk about that. I'll also talk about a little bit about how NFTs work. How do we mint NFTs? What are the gas fees associated with it? What are the platforms that we use we can make it on? That we must know. When we talk about NFTs, we also talk about the numbers. And as I always say, numbers mean opportunity. We'll talk about use cases of NFT. We'll talk about the different challenges and the roadblocks which are there because there is no rules and regulations around it right now. There's so many challenges as well. We'll talk about some very innovative use cases. Like for example, when Webster Dictionary came out with the description of the word NFT, they made an NFT of that and sold it in the open market. Jack Dorsey, the founder of Twitter, sold his first tweet also as an NFT. That's a collectible. It'll never happen again. So these and much more. We will also talk about how NFTs are now being used by corporate enterprise. Not just for collectibles, there are many more use cases of how we'll be using them in the corporate level. We'll talk about them. We'll talk about the future of NFTs where they're going from there. Is it going to be just another gimmick or just another hype? Is the bubble going to burst? Well, this and many more answers in the No Nonsense NFTs. Thank you. This is Raj signing off for now. I'll see you once again. Thanks.